Greetings fellow engineers and welcome here on Tartarus Inc. Today we have a first timer as well because we are taking a look at a ship that is A based on a large ship grid and B built completely without mods. But without further ado let's jump right into it with my showcase of the Pilgrim's Curiosity by Aragath. So first off and hands down this ship has the coolest name ever given to a spaceship. It just captures the feel of it perfectly. Also the whole look of the vessel is gorgeous. You have a very high level of detail but without adding unneeded stuff to the build. What I like most about the whole look is that it feels just so realistic and like something that could actually work once in space. The reason for that is simple. It pretty much runs completely self-sustained without relying on solid fuel, but instead using the power of the sun to generate power for the systems and batteries and oxygen for, well, the breathing. So, if I would be stuck in a kind of survival situation, I would choose this baby to roam around with in the galaxy. Now for the features it has. It is pretty much suited with everything you could wish for. You have enough cargo space to haul around a whole planet weight of ores and other stuff, two refineries to process everything and of course an assembly. Besides that, you get a med bay to aid your wounds and provide you with all your medicaments. On the weapon side you only get a total of 4 turrets, which are meant for defense purpose only, but let's face it, this ship is not meant for war at all. That doesn't mean you are completely and utterly under somebody's mercy when attacked, you can at least throw out 4 decoys to counter some attacks and each of the decoys can be launched separately, either from the bridge or the button panel at the observation deck. Also you get a total of 3 cryopods, a pretty large area with oxygen support and a small repair drone for the unwanted part that something on your ship breaks. Also this little unit is armed with a single Gatlin gun cause you never know when this could come in handy. Now for the coolest part, the energy efficient setup of the ship. As you have surely already noticed before, this ship is equipped with a freaking huge solar array. Also it comes with a total of 6 oxygen farms which should be enough to keep you alive under normal circumstances. To show you how this all comes together I have set up MM Masters LCD script on one of the LCDs in the cockpit and set it to show us some power related stats. And as you can see we have a total of 36 solar panels and 12 batteries. And we actually have 3 backup reactors when times are getting hard and you need a little bit of extra energy. But for now we don't need those so I shut them off. When we proceed and take place in the cockpit, the batteries are turned off by default, which actually makes sense, since the solar energy is enough to keep the most important systems running. But when attempting to fly, you have to switch them on to actually gain speed quick enough and to make the ship more maneuverable. You can do that by pressing 2. Now that we set up everything for flight mode, let's see how the acceleration comes out. As for my part, I'm pleased with it, considering the actual purpose this ship is designed for. Now that we gained enough speed and picked our direction, we just can deactivate our inertia dampers and sail off into our desired direction. And we achieved all of that with the power of the sun. Pretty impressive, am I right? But there's one cool feature that I haven't told you about yet, which is the damage detection. And the idea behind this is so simple that it's brilliant. Basically the whole ship is scanned by one single sensor. This sensor is set up to detect debris and unpowered floating ship parts. So what happens when we for example cut the connection between the let's say one of the solar panels and the ship? An alarm plays and lights flicker to warn you about the loss of the structural integrity. A very cool feature in my opinion. So what is your opinion on the pilgrim's curiosity? Write it down into the comments. Also be sure to check it out yourself and spread some love on the author's workshop page. And that wraps it up for today. Thanks for watching and as always keep on engineering, cheers!